Welcome to my entryway. This means it's mail time. I used to be so weird about accepting gifts. I didn't like it, it made me awkward, but I've just gotten over that. Honestly, once you learn to just accept something that's given to you, whether it be a word or a physical item, once you learn to say thank you and accept it, it makes it way more fun. Normally I wouldn't show off every single gift that I get, but I am here by myself, and uh, this is the only thing that happened today. <laughs> John got me a diptyque candle and it came in this pretty box. Y'all know diptyque makes good candles. This box was covered with this and then in the red box and then once you open the red box, there's a drawstring bag and then once you open the drawstring bag, there's the box that the candle's in. <laughs> Smell it. Try. Oh, that is so cute. And then this arrived there. I got some men's boxers to hang out in. Just some loungewear. I got a bunch of loungewear on Amazon. This is the style that I got. So they're more like boy shorts. And then Drew sends me a gift. And can we talk about his illustration abilities? This man has... I mean, he's a jack of all trades when it comes to art. He can draw, he can write, he can sing. He has good taste. He can dress well. These made it all the way from California. Some vegan gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. All Drew has been doing is working out and baking. So I trust that he's mastered the recipe. And then I got some incense cord holders. And then last but not least, mango check. All right, well, <laughs> pretty good stuff. Best day ever. Goes outside once. Get sunburned. I'm actually sunburned. Are you kidding me? Hi, I'm Lexi Lombard and I hate Sundays. The worst day of the week. I love my Saturdays. I love my Fridays. I love my Mondays. Oh my god, my single serve cookie is ready. But. I have truly had the greatest Sunday. Wow, this is really scary lighting. Why do I look like I'm a like a mean boyfriend right now? It's the wife beater. It's peanut butter chocolate chip. This is all Kaylee McKenzie's fault. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but <sighs> Kaylee and I went to the beach. It was so needed though. We were good. We didn't like get even near anyone. It's fine. We've been isolating, it's fine. I really, like, you know I've been good. If you've been watching, I've been fucking good. Tomorrow I start my Saqqara life. I'm so excited, I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. But, oh, the next few days of my life are going to be very, very good. Good morning. Wow, it is a Monday with sun. I haven't seen that in forever. Don't know her. Nice to meet you though. The day gets better. I've been cooking non-stop. So many dishes. I've been wanting to try out this meal service for so long. It's New York based. It's called Saqqara Life. I got three days. Three days of no cooking, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And everything is delicious, beautiful, and super, super nutritious. I'll show you my fridge. This is not sponsored. This is breakfast, this is lunch, and this is dinner. So for Monday's lunch, I have a burrito bowl with turmeric corn salsa. And then for dinner tonight, I'm having risotto. I love risotto. And I have a burger tomorrow. I forget what else the other day is. And then like, this is um, this is Wednesday's breakfast. I have this granola and this cute little maple milk. I'm so excited for no dishes and I'm so excited because I trust that these meals are gonna fill me up and make me like glow, you know? I have followed Sakara on Instagram for probably a year and I've just been like, God, this feels so right. The only meal service I've ever really had interest in, the friend says, Monday breakfast, goji rose donut. Heating is optional, toast until warm. And then the little antidote, it's like, Superfood spotlight, goji berries. Good things come in very small pink packages. Goji berries are powerhouses of antioxidants containing an abundance of vitamins A and C for a radiant glow and smooth, even skin, plus fiber to help control blood sugar. It's all sealed with a kiss of raspberry and rose to further its power of pink. Made with love, Whitney and Danielle. 
I want to be one of them. I'm hoping if I eat like them, I'll feel like them. I should get a referral code, honestly. Ah, it's so cute. Look at these little flowers on top. I love blackberries. I'm definitely gonna toast the donut. Maybe I'll make a little hot tea with it. A little espresso out of my smeg machine. Have I even showed YouTube this? I feel like I post about it all the time on Instagram, but this is the greatest thing ever. I have an at-home espresso machine. So you just wanna take your fresh coffee grounds, or not fresh, and then I usually have a tamper, but it's in the wash right now. Just get it really packed in. And then Mama C says you're gonna put it in. Twist. I'm not gonna make a latte, we're not going crazy today. Press the button on top. Voila. It's like four or five hours later. New time, new meal. I'm having a burrito bowl. So the superfood spotlight on this is something that I've never heard of and I don't know how to pronounce. Pa de Arco. It's the native Incans. Steamed this evergreen tree divine. And it's known to slow the aging process, decrease stress levels, stimulate the digestive system with a side of Cineros. So those are like little peppers, I think. Um, to let you choose your own spice adventure, this fiesta will help you flourish. Made with love, Whitney and Danielle. I'm sure they weren't thinking this deep into the superfood spotlight, but I think it's really valuable as a person to read something aloud that shows excitement in the benefits that this meal is about to give you. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I do know what I'm trying to say, but I'm like, am I really trying to say this right now? This looks pretty good. Now let me say what I was trying to say. I think it's very powerful to get excited about what's in your food before you eat it. I think it's very powerful like to thank your meal, you know, to give grace. You can thank God or you can thank like the nutrients in the food itself. You know whatever you're about to eat. It's about to be such a good time for you and your body and it tastes good. So I like reading these powerhouse things before I eat the food. Gets me very excited. I'm like getting the remainder of the corn salsa off the lid. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like, what have I done all day? Nothing. I have class later tonight. Eating really does make you dance. You don't even think about it, you just start doing it. You're just like, oh, got food. My hair's already outgrown again. I feel like I just gave it a haircut too. It's a very mild trim. What should I do with my hair? Don't say bang, say anything else. I wanna go blonde. Ever since Sarah Basca went blonde, I've been like, I wanna go blonde. But she just got really lucky. How did her hair turn out like that? I don't think she even thought her hair was gonna turn out that good. Ooh, I just got one of the peppers. Ooh! Ooh! What was that sound? I don't think I've ever made that sound in my whole life. I'm ready to do like Pilates eating this meal. Man, like I just wanna be a wellness vlogger. And then I just gotta rinse down and recycle it and call it a day. No dishes. No dishes! Gonna be a weird adjustment going back into the real world just because the way that my schedule works i kind of can do whatever i want was that karma it's like getting too cocky like, i have a spiritual relationship now after this much time alone you figure out you believe straight up do you either start using drugs or you figure out you believe okay thanks everyone thanks for eating lunch with me this was a good time howdy just walked i did not run today but i went five miles learned so much about prospect park and guess what the entire day is going to be <laughs> me in this spot talking about food it's just because i have three days all right so like i'm pretty excited sakara so monday dinner this is the revitalizing risotto and heating is optional. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna heat this risotto. So the superfood spotlight in this meal is ginseng. This risotto is worthy of a five-star restaurant or a wellness spa. Instead of rice, we use quinoa. I don't love quinoa, but that's okay. Have an open mind. Free of gluten and filled with protein. And instead of cheese, we did magical things with cashews, butternut squash, 
and ginseng, which strengthens immunity, boosts concentration, and fires up the libido. Yeah, because like my libido should be so fired up right now because you know all the men are on their way over. But concentration is good because I do have class in 25 minutes. Oh my god, that's like how long it takes me to eat. I'm gonna have to eat fast. I hate eating fast, but I'm not about to eat in class. Fuck that. That's so gross. I don't know why to me, but like even if it's on Zoom, it's like, dude, could you really not find like an hour and a half of your day to not be eating? I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe that's judgmental. But here's this bowl. I'm gonna heat it up and plate it. It's a heavy meal. Put it back in here. Oh my god, do you see the steam? Dude, this is so good. On the lunch, I don't believe it said all the ingredients in the salad, but in this there's black quinoa, brussels sprouts, cherry tomatoes, spinach, butternut squash, um, pumpkin seeds, macadamia nuts that I got to sprinkle on top, thyme, chives, nutritional yeast, parsley, maple syrup, lemon juice, Himalayan sea salt, orange juice, balsamic vinegar, shallots. I wasn't going to read those because they're just spices, but honestly, if I was watching someone's video, I would want to hear all the flavors because I'd be like, let me try to make this. And just like clockwork, every Monday at 6 p.m., someone from my building decides to go onto the roof and dribble a basketball. And honestly, that signals how I remember that I'm like, oh, time to go to class. I'm back. Uh, the water thing in the shower. I just finished class and I got these in the mail that were supposed to arrive like last week. I made an impulse purchase on like $50 worth of these. And I've been baking a ton. So I was like, okay, let me get this bougie cookie dough for when I just have a craving and I'm not about to go to the store and I'll just eat whatever so I may as well just make it the healthiest thing ever. I thought they were gonna be cookie dough that you would put on a tray and bake. No, no, no. This is just the shape they are. They're just horrible looking healthy cookies. The water's probably hot. Honestly, fuck me. It's not your fault. You, you have been you the whole time. Oh, here's the title. They're fancy, organic, gluten-free, grain-free, sugar-free. Good morning. I figured I would share with you my low-maintenance makeup routine that I've been doing because I generally will do this on days for school, but also in case you have Zoom meetings for work. I just woke up. I haven't done anything besides brush my teeth. And I will show you very simple ways to look just a tad nicer. So first, you just should just brush your hair. It's really not that difficult. While I do my makeup, I'm going to throw it up in a little clip. This is a priming moisturizer. So I'm just going to moisturize the skin. Priming for makeup. But you're going to be surprised. We won't do very much. I feel like I need to zoom you in. Okay, then it's time to groom the eyebrows and eyelashes. Product will apply so much better. Even the bottom ones. Your little handheld mirror will help you discover what crust you have in your eyes. Now that my primer has set in, I'm going to make my skin look shinier. I want to look like I'm glowing, even in fluorescent lighting. This product is a little bit of makeup, but it's mostly skincare, I would say. It's called Future Dew from Glossier. I discovered it when I was in Los Angeles, not even that long ago. And I have been absolutely loving it. It just gives my skin a little extra shine. Now time to fill in the brows, which I randomly have this brow pencil. Where is it? From MAC. That's for redheads. I do not know why. I'm just going to brush them again. I don't... I just tried it out yesterday for the first time. I was like, why does this low-key work? Why, why do I have this? I don't know. Why do I have a redhead brow pencil? But I am going to unpopular opinion shade the front area if you don't have sparse areas in the front just leave it alone because it'll look more fake um and then 
I don't like too much brow, but I'll fake a little arch moment. Now I have time to make them symmetrical. This one's a tad lower. This is a just a lip balm. Give my face a little color, and then here's the magic. The tiniest dot of concealer to look like just a tad more awake. I should have started with this, honestly. I don't think I'll even need this much. Yeah, any spots? Apparently good on breakouts right now. Don't have much going on. I don't have a clean brush, so I'm using this. It's not a good concealer brush, but... I don't even need to do the second half. I'll just do right here. Because as long as the color blends nicely. I definitely prefer to wear less makeup. Because taking off makeup isn't that fun. So you really don't enjoy the process. And then I'll take the extra on my brush or on my finger. Apply it to the eyelid so I have a little added brightness already so much more awake now it's time to make the decision am i going to put on mascara or just curl my lashes and call it a day i am gonna curl my lashes so that's one less thing to take off at night that's definitely the most annoying part about makeup removal do it again to make sure i got the ends And that, my friends, is a low-maintenance makeup routine. You can leave the hair up, do hair down, whatever you want. You can do a little, one of my personal favorites, the half up, half down. Looks sleek, but still feminine. Wow. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Give it a try. Uh, I will link every product that I used in the description box down below. Enjoy looking cute for your zooms. Oh. No, 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 no. I still use perfume every single day. Oh, really just gets the day started. Scents are very important. This is Santal 33, worth every penny. Cheers, guys. Oh. <laughs> May 6th. I just had my first last class. Forever. Oh my god, with Emily. And I've had her for, she's been my professor three times. I mean, I know I'm gonna keep in touch with her, but like, oh my god, I only have two more classes. And it's a program elective, so it's not even like design based. So this feels like the real one. You missed it. Well, you missed it obviously because I wasn't filming it, but like I was on the ground. This is the position I was in. This is my reaction to finishing school. I was like, what the hell? What? This is the light. I love academia. I'm not ready. Like, I thrive in the school system. I'm born and raised in the school system. My parents are school teachers. I'm gonna graduate via Zoom, which I'm absolutely not going to. I'm not gonna go to my Zoom graduation. Ew. Tyra says that I should host a Zoom graduation party, and I was like, no. This is very much a self-accomplishment. A lot of my friends have graduated at different times than me, or like they're still in the program, or they're uh, finished the program like a semester or two ago, so it's not like the solid class that I began with is still together. Some people dropped out. <laughs> Here, it's just like me, myself, and I. That's sort of the um, mantra theme. I've learned so many things about myself, mostly good. This time last year, I would have been terrified to be alone for an, this extended amount of time. I thought I, I probably would have self-destructed. And here, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm a healthy little bean. I definitely went through phases during this experience. Why am I acting like it's over? Just thinking about ends. Things are coming to ends. The season is changing. Glad to know I am my number one. But now I'm like, all right, I want loved ones back in my life. I have the Sakaar life stuff. Let's see what it is. 
on the menu for today. I didn't eat any of it yesterday because I want to try to like space it out throughout the week instead of doing three days in a row. I think I want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This morning I woke up really early and I had a cup of chicken tortilla soup, vegan chicken tortilla soup. And oh my God, my boobs are big because I'm on my period, sorry. I'm not apologizing. And the superfood spotlight is cornmeal. I thought that wasn't even that good for you. I thought corn was like, no bueno. Probiotic berry coolest. These look like um, kumquats in it. <gasps> this muffin is so cute. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. Petit Hermage in West Hollywood. They have like little trees of kumquats and you can eat them if you really want it. I know it's the first time I ever had one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm good. What's on the agenda for today? Not a whole lot because it's raining, so it's just going to be like work day. I have an hour and 15 minutes worth of vlog footage to sit through. So that's what I'm going to do for the next hour and then probably start doing some editing. So I'll probably do that for like a couple hours and then maybe take a little workout break. Hopefully by the time it starts raining, I can put on a movie or a TV show. Dude, um, the amount of TV I watch these days is scary. But what else are we gonna do? Do you think, like, I'm the bitch who already can entertain herself for hours on end, and even I'm like, no, <laughs> we're gonna have the TV on. I'm gonna eat the muffin and do what I said. <laughs> See you later. So uh, I ordered a yoga mat because if you've kept up at all, I had some uh, slight yoga mat issues earlier this spring. My yoga mat flew away, kind of far away, when picked it up, and uh, I tried to reach out to the neighbor that the yoga mat landed in via paper airplane, and I actually got in contact with someone. Essentially, I just didn't get it back, but it was kind of a fun little ride while it lasted. Decided, okay, never getting this yoga mat back. I don't really mind. It was what, like $15? Fabulous. Let's go on Amazon, let's buy another one. So I ordered another one. It was put on back order because everyone in quarantine is like, I'm gonna get fit, so I'm gonna order a yoga mat. I get an email from the yoga company asking for a review on the product. Let us know what you think. I go downstairs, no yoga mat. What is this? Why does why does this world not want me to have the yoga mat?